from Marianne Pollock again, and she says, um, art is not a necessity for most. What would you say to artists to psych themselves into selling their work or to counter a client telling us something like, I love your work, but I have to put a new addition on our house or put my kid through school, um, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, Marianne, that's a great question. And, you know, it's interesting because for some people, art is a necessity and you wanna start attracting those people into your life. And those are people that love art and there are people out there that love art and can't live without it. Um, and some of them have an art buying addiction. And I've met some of these people where they've bought so much art that it, they've stuffed it under their beds, they've put it in showers, they've put it in their empty ovens because they don't cook. So find the people that are addicted to art um, and put that in your affirmational statements. Um, you know, the, the interesting thing is that when our economy dips, uh, the first thing people do is they, they, they do cut out unnecessary buying and spending. And art is often one of those things that um, will leave a budget uh, or be reduced in a budget. And so, you know, that's seasonal too. Um, you know, the first thing I believe is that people respond to the emotion and the vibe that they get from you about your art and what you're doing. And it's not about, sometimes you have to work a little bit harder into quote, selling your art. Um, but my feeling is that if you're passionately talking about and authentically and, and not forcing it, and you might have to practice this because I think for some of you, the hard part is actually to get excited to talk about what you're doing and why you're doing it. But any artist that can tell a great story about a painting or why they're making what they're making in the studio or why they love being an artist is going to infuse the people around them with energy and excitement. And those people are going to want to buy. Um, if people are liking your work and responding to your work and you know, asking you the pricing, then you're kind of halfway there at that point because they're letting you know that they're interested in buying. A lot of times when people get stuck around uh, the sale price or how much it costs, one of the options that I've given to clients over the years is letting them put a deposit down on a piece of art and the option to pay in installments. And I used to rely on this quite a bit when I was, um, first starting my gallery because people would say, I just don't have the money. And I would say, well, what do you have that you could put down? And I typically like to ask for 25% down to hold a piece. So you could offer a payment plan. Um, as far as someone saying like the, the real time stuff of putting on a new roof or a new addition to their house, I just dealt with a client that was telling me they had to put in a pool and they had to do this and they had to do that, which was really real for them. Um, again, the offer of getting started by putting a deposit down um, and letting them just start living with their, their artwork, um, that often is really attractive to people um, who don't want to outlay all that money immediately. So I would try that. But, you know, Marianne, I think it starts with how excited you are when you're talking about what you're making and why. And if you're not excited, I think you need to spend some time really contemplating and maybe writing a personal statement and, and practicing it with a few of your friends or giving a presentation to um, some artists or other colleagues to ask them if based on your presentation, would they buy your piece? And start practicing talking about your art and get people excited through your own excitement. 